Hello everybody and welcome to A Real Treat. Today I'm going to be doing a first look video on this absolutely stunning map called Castel New, I do hope I've pronounced that correctly, by MA7 Studio. So a massive thank you to MA7 Studio for giving me this uh, version of the map so that I can produce the video. And it is going to be released on July the 7th, so not long. Right, so this is our starting point. The best seats in the house, that's for sure. Look at that view. Beautiful. Now I will just explain quickly a few of the uh, key points about this map. Firstly, there are 20 collectibles to find. There is a secret quest that I don't even know what it is. It's a secret. There are five new cultures and more than 25 new points of sale. All the 3D objects, models on the map are new and built by the MA7 studio. So just that alone goes to show how much time and effort has gone into this map. It's been worked on for over a year and a half. So let's now take a look at this beautiful map and see what it has to offer. I think if we just zoom out on the mini map first of all, we'll see where we are. Because I have no idea. Oh, we're there. We're just there looking out over these fields. So that really does give you an idea of how big this map is and how detailed it is. This is going to be very interesting. Now when I tab to a vehicle, that will be our starting point. That was just the spawn point. So we're actually starting the tour over here. So that's actually a really good place to start because we can work in a clockwise direction. Uh, but it's still going to be pretty difficult to see everything without missing something. <laughs> so, I can already see that we have a train on this map, but we start in a workshop. Let's open the doors. Okay, looking out on the hills. Yeah, so all the models are custom made. Amazing. Let's start the vehicle. So, I'm going to keep the minimap open so that we can see exactly where we're going to. Just got to watch these cars. We're straight out onto the road. First of all, let's have a quick look at the fields which are close by. We actually have sheep already on our farm up here. Nice farm track. We've got little ponds, drainage systems. And then obviously we've got loads of forests. We're absolutely surrounded by forests in all directions. So many trees. Uh, I'm intrigued to see what these are. Maybe orchards or something? That is going to be a very interesting thing to discover. And of course our farm does start with machinery as well. I've just seen a massive focus on tractor. It's quite a hilly map. You see all the machinery in the shed over there. We can drive through into here. Got a Manny 2 in here. So is this like a hayloft? And he can drop stuff down there maybe. Fascinating. Yep. So you can, you can drop stuff down the hatch. Or maybe even bring stuff up the hatch. It's a great system, and that sort of system I have seen before, I think it was on the Old Stream Farm, or the Valley of the Old Stream Farm, which also is an absolutely brilliant map. Right, well, let's finish back at the farm again, so we'll come back up here later. If I very briefly head south, we can then go up the very western side of the map. I think that's a shortcut to the southwestern side. Yeah, so over the bridge. Let's go over the bridge. Gotta watch these vehicles. I might be on a one way here actually. So when on the bridge we do have a great view over the farm. 
And this will take us to the very top left hand corner of the map. I think we do have uh, some different buildings over there. These must be one of the highest fields. We're high up here. And we've got the river, which runs through the map. Yeah, so we do, it looks like we have a cell point here, possibly. Here we are. I would say, at a guess, this is a place that buys grain and potatoes and all that sort of stuff. We've got a Weybridge, all the different bunkers there. Yep, so we're at a cell point. I won't try and pronounce it. I'll probably end up offending somebody, but yes, this is a cell point. One of many. As I said at the beginning, there are over 25 new cell points. So, uh, in total, Lots and lots of places to go to, as you can see. So, let us start to go across the very northern side of the map. Let's just go back out of here. Back around this field. There are so many smaller, more unusual shaped fields. It's really good for small to medium sized machinery. And I'm guessing we're going to have a map boundary here somewhere, but it is very discreet. It's hidden. Yes, it's hidden very nicely by the trees. We've got a tree down. So, let's go back in the opposite direction. So we are dropping down again on this dirt track. Past some fields. Got the hot air balloons in the sky down to the lovely lake and yes from here we can head across to the other side but first we're going to be crossing the river just here oh wow I should say the stream the very beautiful looking stream yes this this is all very well done it looks so natural it's things like that that I just love on a map. I might have got stuck. Luckily we're in a four-wheel drive, so there we go. Uh, right, we've got some big logs just there. Very natural looking grass fields. I think I'm actually going to cover this area first. Because it's like a logging area. I'm always so conscious of missing something, I really don't want to miss anything. But yeah, these are the sort of back farm tracks which lead to fields and forests. Okay, I don't know what the secret mission is, or the secret quest as it's been called by MA7 Studio. Um, yeah, I don't know what it could be. We'll have to find out. And if I don't find it, I'll have to leave it to you when it's released in July. So we're now joining a main road. So this main road runs from north to south, straight down the center of the map. We are gonna have to stay on it for a short period of time. Um, oh look, it goes to Obelu. Of course, very in keeping. Naval export. So we do have the train. Let's go to the train. It's actually approaching right now, so let's try and catch it. I think I've already missed it. There it is. And again, it's a custom train. Not just the generic one, which Giants produced many years ago. Look at that. It's a long train. And we must be able to drive the train because we can rent it. So actually, if I just visit the rental spot. Let me just see here. Where do we request it? There. 
I will get it back and we'll see if we can drive it. You know, I'm starting to wonder if it actually isn't a train. Because this is a port. We've seen the train on the other side. This is a port. So am I actually waiting for a ship? Is this going to be a surprise? It's also moving exceedingly slowly. Like, you know when the train is going to arrive, it says how many meters away, and it absolutely flies down. Well, this is only ticking down very, very slowly. I get the feeling that I've worked something out here. I think we're going to be getting a... Yes. Yes. It's a barge. The lack of train line was a giveaway. We do have that one. I think you can possibly request that one elsewhere, because I've seen a rental point just here. Oh, this gets better and better. And also, the Obelu uh, symbols are actually in the river. And it's not going to be a floating train. Oh, look at that. We've got both of them. The train and the barge. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can fully appreciate the reason why it's taken over a year and a half to make this map. So I really hope this video does bring in the attention that it deserves. Well, it's pretty much here. Let me just zoom out again. Look at this. So that's going to fill up the grain that you've stored here, or the sugar beet, or whatever it is. And then you can sell it. It looks like it's going to Obelu, and you can probably get quite a lot of money for it. And there we go. So it is using the train system. We can enter it. We can open the covers. There we go, it's sliding that cover open. We've got our storage area inside. Obviously we've got nothing to load, which is unfortunate, but yeah, if we did, we could do that. And you can also control it. It has a top speed of uh, 9 miles per hour. You don't steer it, you just go forwards or backwards. This actually, interestingly, is backwards. So you can go that way to sell things much faster, because that's much closer to the Obelu symbol. Uh, so yeah, it's making its own way down the river. I love this, this is so good. Very, very clever. I, I've not seen actually anything like this before, I don't think. It, it's not even a train, it's, it's a boat. It's a very, very clever modification to that system. Love it, that is so good. So unfortunately, we are gonna have to move away from the barge, because we need to see the rest of the map, which also isn't unfortunate lots of more exciting things to discover. So, if we keep going down here, we do have loads and loads of forests and side roads, or side dirt tracks, on the right of us, right hand side of us. Um, so I think maybe the best way of discovering those is just to go up one of them here, and then maybe fly up into the air and get an aerial view. But yeah, to give you an idea, we have these little side tracks. Quite steep. And they take us into the heart of the forest. Lots and lots of trees. It is steep, look at this. Very, very steep. And eventually we will actually pop out where the fields are again. But let's just fly up into the air. I don't want to miss this whole area. Look at this. Actually, that gives us an even better view over the map. But yeah, just an aerial view of this particular forest. You can see those tracks that you can drive. And then, yeah, back over to the area we've already been to. There's the farm. Okay, we're now going to keep heading down this way, because I don't know if we can actually cross the river. I was going to go clockwise, but we are going to have to go where the road takes us. So, yeah, we're going to have to go down to here. In that case then, we'll go up here and we'll have a look at all of this area. Then we'll come back and look at this area here and then we'll finish back at the farm again. Plenty more to see. Back on the open road. So on the other side of the road we have lots and lots of fields. 
it looks like it might actually be the main arable side. This side looks to be more forestry, but we do still have some fields. And I will show you which fields we start off with. It's actually quite random. We've got a nice little selection. I'll just pull up over here. Okay. So this is the place. Which I daren't try and pronounce again. But that is the place. Uh, right, so to start off with, we do have the farm itself. It's in a block. Um, some grass fields. And we've got 100 and, well, it's 120. I don't know why the different numbers actually. It's on every map. But yeah, 123, which is 71 here. Uh, we also have 14. And we have 4. It looks like we have another little farm, I think, over here. Cereal farm. Uh, so we do have a nice little selection. I might have missed one. Yes, 32 up here. Grass field there. So it, it's probably in an attempt to get you to really experience the whole map. So you're not just in one little enclosed area, you can actually explore a lot of it. Which is a great idea. So this must be the main little village. With these very, very well done signs. Oh, the boulangerie. I say that because I know it's the bakery. Uh, my French isn't the best, but yes, we've definitely got a bakery here. This is like the perfect map to follow on from Obelu. All these realistic signs. Where to go to next? I think we'll just quickly tour this little area. Turn left here. So this takes us down to a car park. Bus shelter over there. Looks like a cafe or something just there. Yep, here's the car park. Oh, it is detailed. I think we're going to have to go on foot. Bins. I don't really need to say how detailed this is. Because it's mind-blowingly obvious. <laughs> oh, we've got a moving boat over here. Moving motorboat. Looks like we've got a little quarry. Yeah, we've got a quarry over here. Uh, we'll be discovering that later when we've done this uh, northeastern side. Right, let's just walk up this track here. I don't know what that is. Some kind of outlet, maybe? Yeah, it is probably best that we do this on foot. But we have all these different productions. There are even marks on the ground to make it super easy. Cell points, I should say, as well. Even the detailing on here. That is Obelu. So there's a lot of references to Obelu. And again there. Where did I park? There. Oh, I've got a well there. I missed the well. Picnic benches. You do. You have to. You have to look around for a long time to fully appreciate everything. To see all the little details. Right. I think we will go back out this way. I think once again I probably came in the exit. Yes, I did. It's a. It's a habit of mine. Yeah, so we need to go up this way now. Little seating area up there. We 
we want to follow this this road up here. And the cafe or restaurant or something. And yes, I think this is our first discovery of some kind of orchard, I would say. Let's just pull off here. All these trees. Ah, now this is one of the new cultures, one of the new crops. Nuts. This is a nut tree. And I'm guessing these are a, a different type of nut. Hazelnut. If we open up this map, you can see we do have hazelnuts, nut, chestnut, that must be the inner part of a chestnut, and alfalfa. And that now fully explains what these pretty little lights are that we can switch on and off. They are indeed the nut trees. What a lovely discovery. It's certainly something new. And uh, yeah, I'm super tempted to start a Let's Play on here immediately. But sadly, there's only seven days in a week. My schedule is currently still full, but this will be the next map that I do a Let's Play on. No doubt about it. So whenever the next one finishes, I'll be starting on here, because this is just mind-blowingly good. That's another rent-a-train Ah, yes, that must that is the actual train that you can rent. Yeah, I have just uh, requested it. It's 2.5 kilometers away, but if we want to use that train, we can do. We've even got the signals for the train. Here comes the train. It is going backwards. I, I must have requested it once it's already gone past. flying but here it is there we go so if we want to use it we can do can open the covers load it up clearly loads and loads of compartments for different crop types so you can sell probably everything that you've got in one go now we've got this sort of dramatic camera angle very nice and it actually does seem to follow the river giving us a good view of that and I guess it goes off on its own after this and you get paid for whatever you have in there moving on let's go further down the road obviously we've got lots and lots of fields either side all the way over there lots of trees and everything uh, this looks to be the main dealer when you buy a new machine. It's a Renault dealer, Renault Agriculture, and it is fully kitted out. We are welcome to come into here. You can see we've got all the different things for sale. Can I pick Can I pick them up? No, I can't pick them up. I'm not supposed to be able to. <laughs> I don't want to destroy their uh, showroom. But yeah, they've got everything, all the details in here. Magazines, some bread and an apple. Just really nicely done. And even some diagrams of some, it looks like an old baler. And what's that? Cylinder block assembly. For something. Just really nice to have in a machinery showroom. It's just great. Around the back is the actual workshop. A well kitted out workshop with the inspection pits and everything. So it really does feel like a, a real machinery dealership. Customers out the front and the mechanics around the back repairing the machinery for the farmers. This is a bigger building. Logistics company. Well, there must be another cell point. Yep, another one of these new cell points. 
We will have a look at the fields in a minute. I'm just focusing on all of these businesses on this road. I thought the other building was big. This is even bigger. Look at this. Gigantic. It's much more industrial over this side, whereas on the other side, we're just out in the countryside in the forests. So yeah, lots and lots of uh, different cell points here. Oil mill. We do indeed have an oil mill. And then we get up to the T-junction. With all these very in-keeping buildings. They all look really nicely done. Uh, we'll go left first of all. But it's very well signposted. Uh, where should I go? There's so many options. I will go up here first. Wow, there really is so much to see. I think this one will just take us pretty much to all of the fields. Got quite a few fields up here. Yep, yeah, so that's how you access all these fields here. But that is another way of getting into that farm. Just over here. Got little ditches. Did I establish if we actually own this? I get the feeling that we do own it. Yes, we do. So this is something you start off with up here. More machinery. There we go. Pigsty. And there are the pigs. And there was something else. Let me just quickly check that again. Yeah, the cereal farm. All these sheds are full of machinery. And then we drop down this very, very steep hill with all these people's houses around. This would have been such a perfect starting map for the game, for FS22. But I suppose, yeah, it's too good. It is way too good. Let's go up here now. Oh, cows there, look. That must be a livestock market, if I was to hazard a guess. A green icon. Yeah. The animal dealer. I love it's green. Even got custom colours for places where you can buy animals. So we've got more fields left and right. I think this concludes the top corner of the map. More grain silos just there. Big distribution place. There's just so much. It's absolutely huge. This map is gigantic. Just a bit of pasture land there. And I think that brings us to the edge of the map again in this direction. But yeah, lots and lots of different side tracks. Obviously we can't take them all today, but there's plenty to choose from. We have a fuel station here, so that's where we can refuel our machinery. And the next place I'm going to target is actually this little inlet. This little lake. Um, and I think for this area I'm going to fly up into the air. I could even do that now. It would be good just to see this, because I don't want to miss anything. Because that is just an expanse of fields. 
but they're all farmable. We can work in all of those. I was just wondering what that thing is over there. Let me just quickly uh, sprint. Or fly. Must be some kind of French building, which they have out in the countryside. Interesting. I, I don't know what it is exactly. Almost looks like a lookout point or something. I don't know. Maybe it's historical. Uh, if you do know, please do comment down below. Right. Actually, this is probably a good way of exploring this area too. Yeah, here's the water. It's within the trees. It's a bit of a swampy area. Got a few trees down. Super detailed. I said it again. <laughs> right. Let's just quickly sprint up here a bit. Yeah, it is. It's just a nice little natural area with trees and water. We're now on the main road out of that part of the map. We're going to go to this quarry area where we have quite a lot of machinery by the look of it. There is an animal up there. Is that some kind of sculpture? I think it's a sculpture. Or is it a collectible? I think I found a collectible. No, not a collectible. Just a sculpture. Okay. Uh, this is a wood place, so that makes sense. It's the carpentry it's something they've made. To draw people in. Yeah, they want to be careful with people like me around thinking it's a collectible. Someone will walk off with it. So we now need to be... We actually need to be down there. This quarry. Okay, interesting. The roller there. That looks like lime. Yes. Yes, you can buy and sell lime here. There's even a roller moving. We've got lots of excavators, wheel loaders. Lots of machinery around here. So that, that's a really, really clever use of the quarry. We can actually use the quarry to buy and sell lime. Which I know is going to be handy. And then this mustn't be overlooked. Behind the quarry, it looks like it should be the edge of the map, but actually it isn't. It looks like it's a playable, massive forest back here. So, once again, we'll just quickly spin around. Oh, wow. It looks like it might only be a small area of usable land, because it is just totally on a cliff face. But yeah, at the top of here, we do have two secret fields. And if I didn't have that fly function, <laughs> I would have never found these. It's actually kind of cosy, knowing that there is just a secret area, a secret expanse of grass at the very top of a tree-filled hill, or maybe mountain. It's pretty big. Just us with the wildlife. So we're not done yet. And I still don't know what the secret quest is. Uh, I kind of feel it would be either tree related or something to do with the new crop types. But no, it will remain a secret. It's called a secret quest for a reason. It's actually better that I don't know. I don't want to reveal it. Um, right, so we need to now go to this area. Uh, we have seen this area, but we haven't seen any of this area, so there's still loads and loads to see. So we now want to be taking a left turn, following the red car. Back up this mountain. Oh, 
all these buildings just built so perfectly and beautifully into the hillside. The flickering trees, by the way, that's a giant's problem. It's been there since the start. Um, yeah, let's go down here. Little car park. So we are actually still within the main... I don't know if it's a village or a town. I'm going to say town. I think it's a town. This is probably an area where you're supposed to walk, but I'm driving it. Yeah, we're just further up the hill. Oh no, there's another car. That's the thing, it feels so weird driving on such steep, narrow roads. But that's what it's like. So much to see. And I know I'm going to miss bits. Okay, I think from here we will uh, get back onto the main road. It's a nice place. There we are. So we're back out into the fields. Uh, we are going to have to drop down again though from here I think. We're just bordering this forest. All of these different fields left and right. There is a cut through road there. And we'll take it. We've got forest up in front. Oops. Didn't use my mirrors. But despite it being so hilly, there's no shortage of fields. Okay, so that is us cut through the middle of that forest. We're now connecting back up with this road again. And I think we want to just keep following it down. because that's where we have more of those trees, different nut trees, chestnuts. So they're all in there. If we go on the mini-map, you'll see another massive clump of them. So. The first one is chestnuts, we then have nuts, uh, we then have hazelnuts, chestnuts there again, and do we actually have any alfalfa on the map? Let me just zoom out. Yes, there are some alfalfa fields, uh, which I have overlooked, I think. Well, I knew they were there, but I haven't studied them closely. Let's just go to one. There we go, that's an alfalfa field. So actually, if I purchase this field, I can set the alfalfa to be more established uh, so we can see more of it. If I change that to ready to harvest, there we go. Alfalfa. One of the five new crop types. Going around here, we are going to hit the map boundary again, but we do have, there might just be two grass fields, but we do have something in here, so I need to just see. Yep, I think they're grass fields. And you can access these through this farm track. So that is basically all the farmland in this area. It's a big map, this. 
huge. Back over onto this top road, we can take this track, which is going to eventually take us back to the farm. But before that, I think we have another production or another cell point up here. Yeah, whatever this yard is here. Oh, look, another collectible. <laughs> the sculpture, anyway. Uh, I've been trying to collect them, but I don't think you're supposed to. So it is, I think it's a sawmill. It looks like a sawmill. We are over here. Yeah, it's the sawmill. Oh, and another carpentry. So that explains the sculpture. Um, so, yep. Yeah, that's where we started. We've got to see this area from above. But we have pretty much, I think, done a full tour of this absolutely stunning map. If I take this road, we can then fly up into the air and we can see those fields over to the west over the top of this forest. One of which we own, number 71. Yes, that's the bridge where we reconnected. So I have been here, it's just I didn't see these fields. I don't think, or maybe I did. Have I seen them? Well, we'll have a look at them just in case. There are these fields over here. This one's completely enclosed with trees. Okay then, so I think that does conclude the tour. I will just drive down that road to get to the farm. There's our cows down there. You can just see them. Silage pit. Slurry pit. There's the main cow shed. There's the cow field. So yeah, this is definitely our main farm. And that is where we came from. We started in the little workshop. So there we have it. Please do let me know what you think down below. I'm sure MA7 Studio also would love to know. But this is a super, super detailed map. But I think you'll agree, it is just blindingly obvious that there's been so many hours, months, years of work put into this all that dedication to produce the custom models. So I want to leave this map tour here. Thank you so much, MA7 Studio. Thank you, Quentin, from MA7 Studio for getting in touch. Uh, very much appreciated. Sadly, I didn't find the secret quest. It shall remain a secret. Well, maybe, maybe I did, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, It's a secret. Uh, yes, it's time will come. But anyway, I'll put a link down below to MA7 Studio's website. Please do check it out. And until the next video, see you again very soon. Bye for now.